Oh, wow. Okay, people, I'm just saying. Come on. Come on. You know you want a piece of this cake. That looks oh, amazing. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't it? Look at the sides. Oh, my goodness. Well, hi everyone. I am Amy, Amy Roloff. So welcome to my little kitchen. And guess who I have with me? My friend, Deb. And you might have seen her on the show, obviously, but she loves to bake. And so I just thought, well, you know, we kind of keep our safe distant right now. This is during the Christmas holidays. And so I thought, hey, do you want to come over and bake with me? And I always say yes, <laughs> when Amy's cooking, of course. So here, cheers. Cheers. I, we girlfriend. have to have mimosas, of course. Cheers. Cheers. And then I made deviled eggs, little cheese, little meat plate, and some uh, treats, sweets. You did. I made the deviled eggs. I didn't make anything else. <laughs> so anyway, today we are going to make a coconut cake with raspberry Filling. Filling. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. <laughs> filling. <laughs> With raspberry filling. I saw this recipe. Um, I, something. I saw a picture of it on, you know, because it's social media, because I follow a lot of people that bake and everything. I thought, oh my gosh, that reminds me of Christmas. Well, the colors, definitely. Yeah. And I know coconut cake, a lot of people think about the springtime or summer or something, but I don't know. That just okay, this is Christmas. This is a great yeah, Christmas cake. Definitely. Because the coconut flakes and everything, it reminds me of snow and stuff. So anyway, I wanted to give it a try. It's been a long time since I've made a coconut cake. I mean, Never made you? one, ever. So no. this is a trial and error, people. I don't know what it's going to turn out to be, but I hope it will turn out well. So we're going to make a coconut raspberry filling cake. Coconut cake. Yeah. Coconut cake. Yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. Let's get Can't going. Wait. Hi. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying it. And I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to it. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell up there and you'll be notified of future videos that are new and coming on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for that. And I would really appreciate it if you shared the video and let other people know and encourage them to subscribe and like the videos as well. So anyway, thank you and back to the video. Um, so I looked at several recipes and I'm taking this thing, this item from this item from this item because I wanted it to be coconut. Yeah. But I didn't want the cake to be filled with the coconut flakes. I want more of Got the it. frosting. So you're not putting the that. flakes? Not in the batter part. Got it. And then I've already made the raspberry filling. I made it earlier today because it takes a while. So we have all of our uh, stuff measured out. So the one thing I am putting in the batter, because I asked Deb about this, because you do a lot with, with coconut, coconut milk, milk and I stuff, don't you? I love cooking with coconut milk, yes. Like, what do you do? I make soups, I make really sauces. Oh yeah, so healthy. See, the thing I always, because I was always so intimidated by it, because I didn't want my food to taste like coconut. Because not all food should taste like coconut. You know? It, it just so, yeah. it doesn't really taste like coconut. It just I mean there's a hint. There to is. It. There is. I think this would be good like with curry soup or yeah. you know, some of those, you know, other things. Definitely. Did I ever tell you this? With curry. I must have had it when I was pregnant with one of the kids. And and I either ate it when I was pregnant or whatever, but I can't even remember which kid, uh, but I have never liked curry ever since. But I'm just now getting into it. Yeah, you know, so it's really kind of weird. That can oh, happen. Yeah. Oh, cheers. We we have mimosas here because you know it's the holiday time. <laughs> and so I made Deb and I some little treats like deviled eggs, cheese, and stuff. Oh yeah, and I gifted um, Deb with the Amy Roloff little kitchen uh, apron because she does so much for me and she does a lot in your own kitchen and stuff like that I so love it too. I don't know what's your favorite well you what are you not doing this year my coffee cakes yeah that's a tough one that's a tough one I decided not to do coffee cakes this year mm -hmm. which is a family tradition yeah every year I make at least 
30 to 40. I know. And, and I've I, done it with her one yeah. time. And it just You and I should just do it. We should just do it. And, you know, just do it for ourselves because I, I would like to do that again. I would love to do that you again. Know? I would love that. Yeah. But it just, with COVID, with everything, it just got to the point where it's like, you know, it's too much. I know. Too much. So many, tr so many traditions are, um, um, so many traditions are either changing or not able to do yep. this and, year because and of that. My fear was people would not really want me to deliver a homemade mm -hmm. gift. Just yeah. the fact I touched it and I'm giving it to them. So, know. you know, I was going to do, um, I bought these little plates. I was just going to do little cookies. Yeah. But I'm only doing them for people that would be okay with it. Exactly. You know, like you. Yes. You would be okay, I would with, be okay it with it. And that. a few other friends. Well, and, and I stuff. didn't want. You don't want to deliver something and then they fear something and then they throw it away. And so I just took this year off. I know. It's just yeah. Make it simple. Well, anyway, we're gonna make a coconut cake with raspberry filling. I I follow a lot of uh, bakers and all this other stuff on my social media just to get ideas, just to be inspired and stuff like that. So I'm hoping some of the recipes that you find at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen will inspire you to just be in your kitchen and cook and bake and, you know, all of the recipes. You can really kind of make your own. But I know when it comes to baking, you know more oh. about this than anything. You got to pay attention to your dry ingredient and your liquid. Let's not mess with that. Exactly. I don't have enough experience no. to deviate or say, oh, get rid of that, get rid of that. No. Cooking, I can. You can do it on cooking. Yeah. Yes. But baking, no. it's a science. No, I never deviate, ever. I'm and there's certain rules that you need to abide yeah. by in yeah. the hopes that it comes out. Exactly. You know. I know. So anyway. Follow the d instructions. I also want to let you guys all know because uh, obviously Deb is not the same height as me. But in order to fit this on this, I didn't want her head to be cut off. <laughs> so she's sitting on a stool so that we can kind of interact together. So I think the first thing, because usually I have everything measured out okay. because it just takes up time and you know, stuff like that. So anyway, um, how about I cream the butter? All right. And cream the butter first and then I'll add the sugar. That's what we do, don't we? Yep. Yep. Well, I'll do the butter first. Alrighty. Okay. So see, do you think it's really the paddle? I think it's the paddle. That? Yeah, it's not the. Oh, that just moves up. <laughs> it's not the mix. Okay, I'm gonna have paddle. to find a new paddle. No. Obviously, this is loud. I'm sure what? because I feel like it's loud. Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I think we, oh, the, we got the sugar. So anything you think I'm doing wrong, you let me know. Oh, I, you're okay. doing a great job so far. Let me be your sous chef here. Okay, you know what we could do? What's that? You, you got a whisk. Okay, what do you want me to do? Put me to work. And like I said, these recipes will be on Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. So if I don't say everything in this video, I'm so, so sorry. So this was one cup of butter two cups of sugar that I'm doing right here. I've got, um, what is this? Salt, I think it's a tablespoon of salt. A quarter, a teaspoon of um, cream of tartar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And I think, no, not two tablespoons, two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. I hope I got that right. Okay. So do you want to mix it in with the sure. flour? Now, do you know, what does cream of tartar do? Cream of tartar kind of helps out the baking soda and baking powder. Okay. Because I read this up. I always forget what all of this stuff does, so I'm constantly reading up on it again. Baking powder contains baking soda and cream of tartar. Oh. But this will help enhance, give it that fluff, give it that lightness to it, and it's a leavening agent. Perfect. Oh, by the way, let me set this off. By the way, I did not have cake flour. And so I read up a lot on that as to, cause not everything requires cake flour. And so how do you make just regular flour into cake flour? And so I went to various sites and, you know, looked that up. And by the way, I love Ina, Ina Garten. So I even looked at what she does and says. And most of them say for every cup of flour, 
take two tablespoons of flour away and then bring in two tablespoons of cornstarch. So this flour here is, I think, I think it's three cups. Let me see. Let me see here. Yes, this is uh, three cups of flour. So that means I took two, four, six, six tablespoons of flour out and added six tablespoons of cornstarch. That's right, buddy. That's interesting. Yeah. So that's how this makes it, because a lot of the flour has a lot more protein Got and it. a lot more gluten than cake flour. Okay, so that's a good That's tip. what I did, people. I like it. So four eggs, gonna add them one at a time. Do you not break them first into a container? Or well, this I'm pretty safe. I'm not, I always get the All shell right. in there. <laughs> well, the other thing, when we, I lived on the farm, Yes. Oh, I learned to break them into this because some of the eggs, ew. Yeah. Ew. That's all I'm going to say is ew. Well, I always get a shell in there and then I have to go digging for it. So if it. you feel like I'm yelling, it's because I want to make sure they hear us. It's totally good. And then what you want to do is make sure one egg is incorporated into the wet mixture before you add in the next one. But Dad did have a good idea. If you're afraid of getting shells, crack your egg into something before you add it. Now I also read online there's a lot of different ways to make a uh, coconut cake. And sometimes I will go, I guess, the more easier route. A lot of people will only use egg whites in here with maybe only two egg yolks or whatever the combination with, was with. But I found this recipe and I changed it up a little bit to another recipe. So I'm putting the whole egg in. And I think the yolk gives it some richness. I like the yolk with my cakes. Okay, that's it. Okay. Oh yeah, you know what you can do here, Deb? What is it? Add in the flavorings to the milk. Okay, and? That way, um... So coconut flavoring. I wrote some notes down, people. Cause I've never, I haven't done this cake in so long. And since I'm changing it up, I really want to make sure it comes out okay. So do you have coconut here? I have coconut. Flavor. One tablespoon. No, a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh, teaspoon. One teaspoon. Got it. Okay. Teaspoon. And I am using one cup of coconut milk. You can use regular milk, but because I didn't want um, uh, coconut flakes or shredded coconut in the cake mixture, I figured I'd use coconut milk. So vanilla. Okay. One teaspoon. Well, that was easy enough. I got this. I got this. So I decided to add the flavoring to the milk instead of adding it to the butter, sugar, and egg mixture. Because what we're going to do now, and this is what I remember doing too, um, when I took it like a baking cake class, a very quick baking cake class, um, you alternate. You're dry and you're Oh, really? Wet. That's yeah. a good idea. I like it. Because this is no box cake. People. I am learning this. Okay, so we're going to do this. So, what we're going to do here, how about this? I'll do the flour and you do the milk. So, you got it. You just tell me what I to do. Once I do the flour, because I'm only going to do a third of the flour, okay. and you do half of the milk. Okay. I'll do the flour again. You do the other half, and the last will be the flour. Okay. So, just direct me. Yes. This. Okay, here we go. Teamwork, people. <laughs> I love having a friend with me. Oh, I love this. And I love her cooking, so of course I'm going to be here. And we're oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's flying all over the place. Let me turn that down a tad. Hang on. I couldn't find my shield thing. Okay, wait a minute, a little bit more. Okay. A little bit. You yeah, can. half of it. Just slowly, yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now 
get that incorporated for a minute before we add some more. Oh, do you smell oh, it? Oh, smells so good. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. I don't know. I mean, usually I would think of coconut cake like springtime and summer, but when I saw this one with the raspberry filling in it, which basically is making your own raspberry jam, um, I thought, that reminds me of Christmas. Christmas. Now, if I had candy canes, I would just crush them up and just lightly sprinkle it. Lightly on sprinkle top. it. Yeah. Just to make it festive. Is there a frosting that goes on this? Yes. Okay. And I chose to make kind of like a coconut buttercream yeah. frosting. And Felix is down here wanting to get in on the act. <laughs> That's why I can't go commercial, man. I got a dog. Okay, the rest of the milk. The rest of it? Yep. I'll make sure all of it. Got it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Before I add this uh, one thing, I'll make sure. I'm just going to scrape down the side, just make sure all of it is getting incorporated. But yeah, I chose to do a, like kind of like a coconut buttercream frosting instead of a cream cheese frosting. I just thought buttercream was not as heavy or, it's, um, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say with the cream cheese, but the anyway. Buttercream is so much, I don't know, I love buttercream yeah. frosting. And it can be richer too. Oh, I wish you could smell this. This is smelling so good. Okay, well. I'm hoping he'll turn it out. Ooh. Flour is coming out. I've got it on the lowest speed too. I wish I found my shield. I, I it's somewhere. There you go. All right. Okay. Can you help us here. I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. That looks awesome. Okay. Wow. I think it's good. Uh, it will spilt your Oh list. dear. <laughs> Let me just scrape this down. I don't know. I'm a big I'm a big thing when it comes to this. I don't like a lot of stuff stuck to my no. thing. No. My uh, beater because that's like a lot of stuff Waste. you're not incorporating in what you're making. Oh, the texture is amazing. Yeah, I think so too. Isn't it nice and fluffy? Oh, perfect. I'm just going to do it a little bit more just because I took some of this off, you know? And there's some dust of flour here. And you're, I see you're doing low speed. Yeah. Do you ever do high speed when it comes to a cake mix? I don't know or any other breath okay. because the things that I have read. You shouldn't over mix it okay. because I think it takes away, you want to create air in it to make the cake fluffy and everything, okay. but I sometimes think it takes away and you get a more flat. Got it. Got instead it. Instead um, That's really having the rise. That's what I've read. Okay. Okay. Um, my cake pans are over by the stove, Deb. Got them. And? Okay, I already have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Hang on here for a second. At 350 degrees, and I believe we cook it for about 30 minutes. Let me, um, sorry guys. I wrote notes down. Let me see. I want to make sure I do it right by you. Yes, I think it's about 30 to 35 minutes. So anyway, okay, yes, let's divide them in half. And your pans are already ready. How do you prepare these? Um, usually when I do quick breads or even cake or something like that, I uh, you can use butter. I use uh, kind of like Crisco butter and I, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, I grease my pans. Perfect. Yes, I grease my pans, put it and dust it with flour. That way your cake will come out a lot easier and won't like stick to the pan. So we'll just divide this in half. There we go. Oh. I gotta move your mimosa. I'm gonna spill that thing. I don't want you to spill out. 
Oh my gosh. This is thick. Wow. That looks... Well, this is a little thicker than I this. like it. Well, guys, we're going to see how this cake comes <laughs> out. It's a little thicker than I thought, but... I'm going to try and so even good. it out. You know, there's another one of these okay. in, in that second drawer. Got it. You can help me spread this you out. You got it. Did you find it? Yeah. I did. This is a thicker batter than I thought, so I'm hoping I didn't forget an ingredient, people. <laughs> Get it all out of the pan? No. I'm such a fanatic about scraping. Oh, I am too. I know, like, no, we have a lot more in here <laughs> that's going in this thing. I think you need more. Perfect. Scrape it off. Got it. You think it's even? I think or it's even. Does mine have a lot more than yours? Nope, I think we're good. Okay, I want to show you this pan because this is how I scrape it. That's how my mom was. She didn't leave See, it See, there's not much in there anymore. Because this is goodness that you're just getting rid of. Okay, I'm going to use your scraper. To get my scraper cleaned off. I'm gonna get this thing. And then I'm gonna. What's that? Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Here, you can just stick it in here. Perfect. Out of the way. Keep it there. Here, this is a little high here. The center. Oh, because it does raise more in the, in yeah. the middle, right? I think so. I love learning from Amy. Okay, the other, this is thick um, batter. We'll see how it turns out. But usually, usually what I do with my uh, breads and my cakes, I just tap them on the counter a little bit, just in case you have any air pockets that those kind of go away. Because who wants a cake with this big air pocket or, you know, all this? Want to do that? So, <laughs> so 350 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes, and Lord willing, we will have nice coconut cake. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, sorry, people. I, I got to rearrange my um, oven rack here because it's up too high, I think. Do you do it lower on the lower rack? Well, I think this is up too high. Okay, okay. So I'll just go down one, and that'll be more in the middle, I'm hoping. No? This is an odd oven. That's your oven. No, I don't know this <laughs> oven. This oven's odd. I think I'd take it back up. Okay. We're taking it back up, people. Okay, here we go. One, two... They're in the oven. And how long do you say that has to bake for? 30, 35. Perfect. It, it'll bake for um, 30 to 35 minutes, but uh, depending on your oven and you know how your oven works, because this oven was a lot different than the one at the farmhouse. So after 35 minutes, I'll use a toothpick or a very thin, sharp knife or something so that you can see if it's done or not. Right. And then Perfect. go a little bit longer. All right. But people, remember why I told you, for me, I use a timer because I'll be off doing something else and I forget and then I have a poor crummy overburnt product. Oh, that's never happened to you. Oh, yes, it has. <laughs> Too many times, unfortunately. Right. So here we go. Cake in. Ooh. All right. Okay. Okay. Hopefully they will turn out okay, but they're ready to come out of the oven. You want to come in closer? Get another little hot head thing here. 
Okay. Well, they look nice. Oh, wow. Those look I great. I tested them. They came out clean. Right next to the raspberry filling there. There we go. So what you want to do now is definitely, you know, let the cake sit there and rest for about maybe 10 minutes. Scrape around the sides, get them out of their cake pan, put it on a cooling rack, and wait till the cakes are completely cool before you start frosting it. Because the thing you don't want to happen is the frosting starts to melt. So Deb and I'll get onto the frosting. Okay, so we got the cakes out of the oven, didn't we? Yes. And they look so nice. They're gorgeous. Okay. All I can say is so far, so good. <laughs> they look great. They so, smell even yeah. better. And I, I, yeah, I think it'll be oh, good. I love it. They're still warm, so it'll be a while before we um, frost it because you definitely don't want to frost a warm cake because then the frosting melts. So yeah. we got a ways to cool, but we'll be getting these out of the cake pans really soon so they'll cool even faster. But uh, we are going to get going on the frosting. So I've got, um, what is it? One, one and, and a half cups of butter. One and a half cups of butter here. Eight, Eight cups, cups of powdered, powdered sugar. sugar. I have one third cup. You can use regular milk, but because I had leftover coconut milk, I figured why not use the rest of it? So I have one third cup of coconut milk in there. And we'll just do like a, um, I think it's a tape, uh, no, a teaspoon, teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of coconut flavoring. And then I've got one cup of coconut and I'm choosing not to incorporate this in with the frosting because I don't know, people may not really know what it is. So what Deb and I are gonna do is just sprinkle it in on top, pat it down, maybe a little bit around the sides. You know what, it'll look like snow. I know, see, that's what I love about I love it. That. The that's, flakiness. Yeah, that's yeah. what made me want to do this cake. I love this, you I know? love it. I'll have to give you the recipe. Would you? Yes. Or maybe I can look online. No. Amy Roloff's I took Little a, Kitchen. I took a bunch of little, well, yes, look online <laughs> at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. This little. <laughs> okay, all I can say is what is cake without frosting? But you know what? I, I can eat a pound cake without frosting. I think because it's a little more dense. I think so too. Moist. Uh, yeah, I think so too. But cake needs frosting. I have to have frosting. Oh yeah, we need frosting. So let's get going on the frosting. All right, let's get our butter in here. Right. What'd you say, one and a half cups? Yeah, one yep. and a half cups of butter. We'll I just... can take the bowl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Put me to work. Well, I want you to do more than that. But here we go. This is when I make it go fast, because it's just butter. Okay, I'm going to do it slow, but she's going to do the first round of oh, powdered sugar. Sure. So I've got seven cups here, and I'll get another cup going. Slowly. So yeah. You want to hold it, and I I'll can hold. just yeah, yeah tilt it a little more. Because if you put it on too high, it's going to go flying all over the place and you'll think it snowed in your kitchen. Okay, I've got to find that little thing that I have. You know, the little shield thing? Oh yeah, to keep it from yeah. popping out of there. See how it does this? And it's locked? Yes. This is not good. I think it's your paddle. I really do. You think it, okay, I'm going to change my paddle. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay, this, this is going to be a little, be a little trickier. Trick here. <laughs> we'll move it away just a bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be lost in powder sugar, guys. Oh, turn it up high. Let's see it. Oh, no, no. Let's go for it. It's already. I don't know. I'm going to change paddles and see. Because if not, then it's my mixer. No, I think you're fine. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the wrong lever. <laughs> okay, this. 
Okay, now let's drizzle this. in the milk. Okay. Let me start loosening up. You should have done the flavoring in the milk. That's okay. Here, you want to add both flavorings yep. in here? And you said... We'll just do it here. How much? I don't know. What did the thing say? I think it's only a half a teaspoon of the coconut. Okay. What did I put down? Yeah, half a teaspoon of the coconut, a teaspoon of the vanilla. Okay, half coconut. Got it. And? I think I'm going to add one more cup of uh, powdered sugar. Vanilla. Do you want me to go ahead and add this in there? Yes, please. Awesome. Get that going in there. Got it. You're all done. Because I said eight cups, but I only had seven, so I'm just going to slowly add this. Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! Ooh. Oh, the smell of the, the frosting. Oh, and I think the biggest thing is how creamy do you want your frosting? You can have a little bit of a stiff frosting, depending on what you want to do, or if you want it a little bit more creamier. Just add in maybe like a teaspoon, at the most a tablespoon of any milk that you have just to kind of loosen that up. But we wow. are gonna see about this. I don't know, do you think that's too thick? It's a little, it might be hard to spread. I think so too. A little more coconut milk? Because depending on your um, cake, if you got too stiff a frosting, crumbs can be mixed in with this and you can kind of like tear your cake. I think so. I think we have a little bit more coconut just, milk here. Uh, just give me like a teaspoon. Do you want to mix time. it while I'm doing it? Yeah, but um, I just want a teaspoon at a time. Okay. Because if you, oh, hang on. Okay. Yeah, let's do some more. Now, do you do your frosting slower as well, or do you do that well, at higher time, speed? Uh, this time I'm doing a little bit slower just because we're adding in a liquid. Okay. I didn't want it to. I want to make sure that it gets incorporated in Got it, it and then instead of spreading it out. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. I'd rather do it by a teaspoon at a time instead of a tablespoon because. Then you gotta add more powdered sugar. I mean, you've done cake before, haven't you? I have. I think this might be good. You that wanna give it good. a feel? Yeah. Give it a feel. Like, stir it or whatever. Oh, that look, that feels good. Do you think? Yeah. Let me get a, um, get one of these things. Could go a little bit loose, a little bit more. What do you think? Trial and error, people. <laughs> Trial and error. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to knock out some of this just to make sure that coconut milk is. See that one? That looks better to me. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, that looks amazing. This, okay, people. The smell. Coconut. It yes. smells so good. The smell of it is insane. And with the flakes of coconut on top of the cake, I cannot wait till we decorate this. I don't know, feel it with this. Can okay. I just have this? No, I meant put it in there. Well, I just want to think. lick it or something. I know, so do I. You think it's... I don't want it too soft. I know, but you don't want it to pull up your crumbs either. Yeah. Okay, one more. All right, one, one more. more, and that's the end of it. So we probably added... Um, I had one-third cup of coconut milk. We probably added about four, maybe six teaspoons of additional coconut milk. Yeah, 
incorporate it a little bit more. There you go. Woo, baby! Okay, I, I think that's enough. Oh, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we're perfect. But guess what, people? We can't quite frost it yet because my cakes have not cooled enough. So we're going to come back and frost it in front of you and put on the raspberry filling that I think will be good. See, I try and make sure all of this frosting is on the cake and not in my mouth. Add it to my thigh. <laughs> But I love having a piece. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll be back to frost the cake. Next okay, layer. we got the next layer here. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That, is that good? That is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Okay, um, sister, let me get a stool. Okay, how are I you? I am gonna, not good at you know frosting. What? Uh, how about you put some up on oh, here no, and I'll do the side. You trust me? Oh my goodness. All right. Oops, I broke it down. You're trusting me with. Ooh. Oh dear, look at what I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got it all over the place. Oh, this frosting is so smooth. Perfect. Isn't it smooth? It is very smooth. See, I can't frost very well. I can just. Oh dear, it did come out all of that. But your barrier wasn't high enough. Okay, I'm just gonna. Just keep going. Maybe I should, hang on, Dad. Maybe I should do the sides first, okay? okay? I'll let you, because it's putting weight at the top. Yeah. And Dad's right. I'm not good at frosting either. Somebody's watching us. <laughs> oh, God. Chris is here! <laughs> He scared me, people. I you want to say hi? I just saw this Can guy. Can you say hi in our video? <laughs> hi. I just saw this guy. You were so quiet. How did oh, you do he's that? A, he's a stealth. <laughs> say hi to my video. <laughs> he's got to say hi to Felix yeah, first, though. Hi to Felix first. Okay, do you know what kind of cake this was? Did I tell you what kind of cake I was making? Coconut with uh, raspberry, right? Yeah, raspberry filling in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so... The raspberry mm. seeped out a little bit, but I'm hoping. This tastes like, it, you'll have to taste a taste over there. It's amazing. Nice. Well, hopefully because it's not chocolate, you'll like it. Oh, I'm sure. You know. Well, I'm looking forward to trying it. So anyway, <laughs> I mm. hope so. And I'm making uh, pasties, mm. you know, little meat pies. Uh -huh. So if you go home tomorrow, you can take some with you. Well, my uncle just uh, sent me home with some chanterelle mushrooms. Yeah. They would be good in the pasties. Uh, well, I already um, made the mixer big. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. But you know what would be good? Because you could saute the mushrooms, and if you make a beef gravy, uh, put a, just a little bit of beef gravy over the pasta with, pasty with uh, the sauteed mushrooms. Oh, that sounds so good. So good. good. Okay, I'm not good at frosting the cake either, Deb. So. <laughs> I'm just terrible at it. I am too. Good to see you, Chris. You too. Deb felt someone watching us. Well, I looked at him like, what? And I know the big thing with cakes is having a smooth side to it. And uh, if you had one of those, um, you know, circular things, you could do that. And I think you could do it if you, you know, if you had a, a tool like that, you know, you just hold it up there and you can smooth it out. But tell you the truth, I really like kind of a rough, frosting. I don't know, it just makes it look, I don't know, like, like mom it used to like make. It looks like a, a, what is it, snow drift. Yeah. It's winter. Yeah, oh, that a looks good. A little bit right here, because okay. we still got a lot left, don't we? We got a lot of frosting left. We don't have to use it all, but. No, you don't. 
Oh, and it depends. So I mean, we could have made the bridge bigger too. That looks so good. I just put a dollop right there too. Oh yeah, no, good. But you know what I mean? Yeah. We could have made the bridge bigger and... Um, I'm glad Chris is liking my, the dog. Yeah. I don't know, I'm a little jealous there, Chris. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he loved me more. No. Oh no, he's liking <laughs> Chris now. Chris is in the neighborhood. Yeah. We got that brotherly thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. A little bit more right there. Okay, the one thing I love about this cake is it looks homemade. And it's, and it's gonna taste excellent. It's gonna be so amazing. I love this. So what we're gonna do now is put a little coconut on it. Okay, Deb, I gotta ask you, did we put enough frosting on it? Uh, did, do you I think, think it's enough? I think it's enough. I think you Okay, what we're gonna do, I mean, you have your choice of adding the coconut, the sweetened coconut flakes to your frosting, but I think this is a better way so that you can actually see the coconut. So we're going to do our best to kind of sprinkle on the top and put some along the side. So I mean our snow. Yeah, I mean this is great. What are you going to do? Do you want me to help? Yes. We're going to sprinkle. Oh, this is fresh coconut too. I'm putting my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. You know, I think it looks better adding it after. I do too. It just gives it more texture. It's a winter wonderland on top of here. I think these are still good, aren't they? No. No? No. Okay. Raspberries are bad. But if I did have raspberries, I think that would be cute, you know, around the edge. So each slice with the raspberry filling could have a raspberry I, I to it. it. But other than that, the other thing I was thinking about doing very lightly, not a lot, because you don't want to take away from the coconut flavor, is to maybe crush up one candy cane and just gently, lightly sprinkle it on here. That's a great idea. So. I like that. Anyway, come I on, can't we got to have a piece. <laughs> we got to have a piece. Okay, Deb, come on, are we ready? Oh, I yes. cannot wait. It's time to cut the cake. Let's see. I wonder if this was the right knife. Maybe not. Well, it's gonna taste good regardless. Oh, wow. Okay, people, I'm just saying, come on. Come on, you know you want a piece of this cake. That looks oh, amazing. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look at the sides? Oh my goodness. This looks so good. You know, see, doesn't that look Christmassy or any time? Are we ready? Okay, we're just having one piece. Just one and piece. And look at the inside. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Ooh. You have to go first. Okay. Okay. Chris, do you want to share a piece with us? Absolutely. Get a fork. Mm. Oh, come on. I like it. Mm. You know, it's not too overly. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. You doing it, babe? Oh, I want some of That's probably the moistest cake I've ever eaten. Wow. Now, is that good? Mm. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, I... the raspberry was a good uh, choice. Reminds mm. me of uh, Tiger Tails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I don't oh. know what that is. That's kind of like a Twinkie, only it has Ooh. raspberry yep. and coconut. In it. Okay, this is better than a Twinkie, people. It is. You keep saying it. Better than a Twinkie. Oh, you guys look at us. <laughs> <laughs> this is way too good. Felix is waiting for us to drop some. <laughs> Sorry, Felix. <laughs> mm. Mm. That is really good. That is really good. Man. All right. 
No more? Good job. Mm. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Good job. This is good. Well, I hope you guys have a chance to make this cake in your kitchen. So you can find this recipe and all of the other recipes at amyroloffslittlekitchen.com or on my YouTube channel. But I think Deb and I are gonna continue eating, right? Cheers. <laughs> oh, look at her little bite compared to mine. <laughs> you little stinker. So from my kitchen to yours, enjoy.